I thought just that the issue was actually raised with the Taoiseach by Deputy uh, Lisa Chambers and Deputy John Curran on uh, Tuesday. Deputy Chambers host, just hosted a meeting that every member of the House was invited to. There are several hundred people outside the front gate, so it should be on your radar. I don't have to give you notice of questions I, I ask. It should be on your radar. You say that you want the best drugs available on the market. Yes, we want that. And that's why we supported the initiative. But why are we the only country within that initiative where this drug is not being made available? Why are the 25 children, if they were living in Belgium, if they were living in the Netherlands, in Luxembourg, in Austria, or at least 20 other countries, why would they have the kind of future that's being denied to these 25 Irish children? It just doesn't make any sense. And there is a new proposal that has been put in to the HSC by Biogen. And as I said, Minister, the HSC are delaying in a proper analysis. And there is no time for delay. Families see the life-changing possibilities of this drug. And those life-changing possibilities are being denied to them by bureaucracy. A bureaucracy that doesn't understand what it's like a bureaucracy that should go out to the front gate and talk to these children. Talk to Grace, talk to Killian, talk to Sam and see how strong they are. See how determined they are to live their lives. And put the bureaucracy aside and put these children first. Thank you, Deputy Tony. <coughs> yeah, no, no, Deputy, I wasn't, I wasn't suggesting that we should change precedent uh, and, uh, and that uh, you would give me notice uh, of questions. I'm just saying... Uh, I would like to have given you a more accurate answer, um, the, um, but I am, uh, I am conscious of this issue um, uh, and it is essentially being considered by the HSE uh, for uh, approval right now, but it needs to go through the process like other drugs have to, um, uh, to make sure that, uh, that the same procedures apply to this drug as others. But I am very familiar uh, with the um, the pressures that family are under, families are under while waiting for decisions like this. Uh, and that is why they come to Leinster House on days like today to, to try to push that process along. Um, so uh, I hear that uh, and I will speak to Minister Harris who is not the decision making person here. Uh, there is a process that needs to be gone through for a drug's approval. Uh, as I said, there are many other drugs that have been approved through a similar system this year. Uh, and uh, a decision will be made on, on this particular drug uh, as soon as we can make it.